Hello everyone, today I want to show you how to install GitLab on your local machine. Uh, what is GitLab? GitLab is a complete DevOps tool in a single application. Inside we can find a lot of cool stuff from project planning, source code management, continuous integration, continuous delivery, monitoring and security tools to help us build and maintain our applications. To follow along you will need a couple of things. First, you need to download and install VirtualBox and second, you need to download a copy of Ubuntu. Uh, now, the first two steps are not part of this tutorial, uh, but you can find all the details and information that you need visiting VirtualBox, the official website, and download it and then you can install Ubuntu from their official website you download, click on download and then you install the latest Ubuntu server which is at the moment 18.04 so you click on download, you wait and then download the copy of the operating system I already have that so we'll just skip all these steps and move straight to the part that we want to see. Alright, first we need to view the instructions from GitLab. So we can just hit pricing and then check the self-managed option and we click here on install and we see a list of recommended installations so we click on Ubuntu and that's the steps that we will follow right now the first thing we want to do is create a new machine from the VirtualBox admin panel I will call it Ubuntu to GitLab press next right now now we need to give to our virtual machine if we want to use it correctly at least four gigabyte of RAM so I will give that it's quite a lot my laptop is not really powerful but it's fine for this tutorial press next then we need to create a virtual disk and we we'll just press create and we press next and next again we can leave everything as it is now we have a new element over there on the sidebar we press settings and we visit the storage section we click, click on the empty disk and we select the Ubuntu 18.04 server edition, the ISO disk that we just downloaded from the Ubuntu website and we press that and we press OK. Now we start the virtual machine and we wait for the virtual machine to run here we go we need to install the operative system inside this new virtual machine that we just created Now when it's ready we will need to go through a list of configurations and settings for the installation process then we will be ready to follow the step on the GitLab website to install GitLab. Right, we select language. 
this with English. We select the layout for the keyboard. I'm using UK. Press done. Now we saw the Ubuntu. We just press done again. I don't uh, need to set up proxy server. The mirror is fine. And we use the entire disk for the installation. And we press enter again and enter again. Now we can leave everything to the default and just press enter and enter again. And yes, we will confirm that this is a just destructive action. But we want to install virtual inside this new virtual machine a new operating system so we don't care about what's inside the disk because the disk is fresh new and we just created a small disk for this installation so we press continue we give it a name i'm giving it my name and the server name will be gitlab you can call it whatever you want uh, pick username and password And then press enter and uh, we are ready we don't need that at the moment we we'll just keep everything and press done now that might take a while you can view the full log for this solution and we need to wait until that process is finished i will skip that and come back when it's done See you in a minute. Okay, we are back. The installation is complete, so we need to reboot. And let's do it. Reboot now. And the virtual machine is going to restart. We have a couple of errors, but we can ignore that it's not a problem. We need to remove the installation medium, so we just need to press enter and the new operative system is about to start now the machine is starting we wait until it's finished then we log in and follow the instruction on the gitlab website to install gitlab on top of ubuntu 18.04 username and password the one that we set during the installation process and then we are ready okay we need to update our distribution so we do sudo apt-get update type the password okay then we do the sudo apt-get second step that we see here i'm following this step so open ssh server and CA certificate made a mistake pardon and we will go okay I'm gonna skip this step we don't need to set up that for our tutorial and we just skip to the step number two and we add the package repository and install the package okay so the curl https packages 
gitlab.com slash install slash repositories slash gitlab slash gitlab e e enterprise edition and then we do script dot tab dot sh and then we do pipe sudo bash now we are ready to move to the other step which is this step final step we do need to set an external URL and then install the actual package so we install GitLab we do sudo external URL, URL equal HTTPS and we can replace that with name that we want and then we need to set up that host name inside our host file so we do gitlab.test close quotes and then apt get install gitlab enterprise edition everything ready and then we press enter made a mistake where is the mistake external url https gitlab.test have dpt get install gitlab probably I didn't set up the repository yet. let's see yes there is a mistake we were there was a dot missing from the URL here so we press that now running the update and we we are actually running this script now mm, failed before because of our this dot was missing so make sure you copy that correctly we wait for the update to run and the repository is set up we can install the package so we move to the previous step where we set up the external URL and then we start GitLab Enterprise Edition on our new virtual machine sorry about that 733 megabyte and might take a while with my connection so I'll come back later when it's done see you in a bit okay the installation is complete we got an error for the SSL certificate but we need we can ignore for that for now if we want to set up the HTTPS we can just follow the instruction right there to create our own certificate or we can just use HTTP now we can move to the step number three and see if our GitLab installation works first things we want to set up the virtual machine to a bridge network adapter so we hit settings and we go to the network tab we click on the bridge adapter and we press ok now we can 
check what our IP address is with this config and it's 192.168.0.20 and we can set that up inside our host file and windows so we press search we search for the notepad we right click on it and we run that as an administrator you should see uh, that and we press yes and open a empty file but we press file open and we will be straight inside the system folder and inside the drive etc folder and we press the host file and here we set up the gitlab.test to run on the IP address 192.168.0.20 and we save press ctrl s on windows or simply press file save then we close that we should be able to visit now gitlab.test and see our installation Yes, we don't we don't have an now we see this server from Google because we don't have a certificate but for now we can move forward and press proceed to gitlab.test and save and again if we want to set up the SSL certificate we can just follow the instruction here by pressing here on create your own and follow the instruction here I'm not gonna do that for now now we need to change the password uh, we can press any password and change the password press the button Now we can log in. The default user is root and the password is the one I've, we just typed. And we can say remind remember me, sign in. And let me move to a full screen. And here we have a fully working installation of GitLab. Obviously you need to do more setups but for this tutorial that's pretty much what I want to show you. We can create a new project, create a group, add people, configure GitLab and all that nice stuff we will see that in the next tutorial.